seems very agricultural when you're riding it here. This is the Harley Davidson Pan America. I actually like it, you know, even like styling wise, I do like it. This is a very popular bike, extremely popular. It's on uh, rain mode, so it's very limited with the power, but this bike is kind of fascinating. It doesn't seem that comfortable. Uh, you know, coming from the Super 10 rate to this, there's some very weird things. You know, this is futuristic, and then they give you these weird, non-futuristic mirrors that kind of stick out as being like just very cheap. Okay, 4,000 RPMs, here's my signals. I'm actually going to go to the right demo route. There's the gold wing. Okay, I got to switch it to sport mode. Okay, sport mode. This is sport mode. Got my turn signals on. Oh man, the, I hate the signals. So this is the Harley Davidson. I can't believe I'm riding this thing. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to like take this for a uh, little bit. It's like, oh yeah, look at this. Nice and fast. It's actually pretty decent. Hey, I'm gonna follow these guys. It looks cool. I don't think a lot of people like the styling, but I like the styling. I'm gonna admit it, but it's one of these bikes that requires you to kind of work it. You know, it doesn't seem as fluid. You know, I want to hate this bike, but it's it's hard to hate. I actually admire Harley for coming out with something so quirky because they needed to come up with something quirky like this. If they made it too Harley-like, then I don't think the ADV guys would like it. This is perfectly rideable for an ADV guy. You know, if you're looking for a bike to do long miles, I mean, this is actually excellent. I am very surprised. You know, I was smitten by two bikes so far, the T7 and the the Goldwing. I don't think I'd get the Goldwing, but the T7 I would. This thing is just as good as any Japanese counterpart. It does have a lot of power. And I'm on fifth gear, fourth gear. It has a kick, guys. It does have a really nice kick. All right, we're gonna turn right. Oh, these are zeros in front of me. Shifting is so clunky. Jesus, uh, you know, it gets better, but um, it definitely is a little bit on the clunkier side. We're gonna stop up ahead and just like look at the bike, but. I wanna go a little bit faster than these guys, so. It does have power and I do like the V-twin, but um, I don't, it doesn't sound as good as I thought it would sound. And actually I don't think it sounds like what I perceived that a Harley Davidson would sound like. It's actually quiet for a Harley, but pretty soon there's gonna be all of these guys putting on, putting on a, Oh, this guy is uh, letting them in. Pretty soon, all of these Harley guys are going to be putting these off-to-market exhaust in. It's going to be extremely loud. Oh yeah, it has, I think, more power than the Super Tenre in sport mode. It, I think, has a little bit more horsepower. Kickstand is like high up. So this is the Pan American. It's surprisingly quiet. I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's quiet. It doesn't sound like a Harley at all. I 
you know, I think this is going to be a big hit for Harley. So motor-wise, it's got that classic-looking Harley V-twin. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm not. I would be fine with just a regular motor. But I do like V-twin, especially on the V-Strom 650. I mean, it's got really good brakes. Look at that Wisconsin plate. You know, it, it's kind of a fantastic bike. It's got the crash bars. It, um, it's got electronic suspension. It kind of goes up and down. I'm not even sure why that that is, but start button. You got modes up here. So there are rain mode, there's street mode, and sport mode. I'm going to keep it in sport because I want to see the power. And then there's the heat grips and all that other crap. Uh, cruise control. It's got a steering damper. It's got a adjustable windscreen. I'm not even sure. Oh, it's, it goes like this. It's very easy. It's like a weird ratchet. But I think these I think these are called rosette. Very difficult to kind of put up and down. I don't like it. This is going to break eventually. This looks like very cheap. This is like plastic. This is going to have so much stress on it that it's eventually going to break. It does feel very hot. I mean, I am standing next to it and it's boiling over the um, the amount of um, heat that it produces it's quite a bit the kickstand is also a little bit strangely positioned first gear brakes are really good but it does have a lot of power man it has a lot of power I don't know it definitely feels like it's got more power than the Super 10 right shifting is um, I think that's the weak point of this bike I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of shifting it does but I mean this thing is raw it's a raw bike you know it does feel like the Super Tenre in many ways I don't think it's as comfortable the suspension is excellent I am not used to cornering on this thing. The um, Goldwing is more confidence inspiring. Oh yeah, it actually kind of crests the... Um, man, it, I am very surprised about this bike. This bike is really kind of fantastic. I'm going slow through the corners but I needed to kind of see this Jesus this bike is extremely fast you know this is a bike I wanted to hate I wanted to hate this bike so bad because it's a Harley this is a really good bike the part that I don't really get is the reliability I don't know the reliability of these machines because I'm not a Harley fanboy so to me it's a little bit different because the reason I picked the Super Tenray over this is the reliability but this thing feels solid there's some things here and there like this this is just so, such cheap plastic and it doesn't really add to, um, to the bike to have this like weirdly cheap plastic. bike has a lot of power it's got more power than the Super Tenere you can feel it you can definitely feel it I don't know yeah this thing is a beast hey whatever Harley is doing man they're doing it correctly this is the way to go this is the way to go man Right. 
Christ, this bike is fast. For an adventure bike? This is an adventure bike and it's this fast. That's incredible. This is like Ducati Multistrada style power. You know, in an adventure bike, this is not a good idea, having this amount of power. But it is fun. All right. Long gap. I think this is the way uh -huh, I want to go. Damn, man, this bike! Well done, Harley. This is gonna be a big hit. I think the transmission might be the weak spot here, but it is excellent. Hey, there goes the demo ride. Are these the Zeros? No, it's the Kawasaki's. Kawasaki's are going that way. Hey, I wonder if this thing has got a GPS, does it? Where's the GPS? Does this not have a built-in GPS? I think that's kind of cheap out. That's the home button. None of this works. What does this do? So it's got a steering damper. It actually handles really well. Yeah, I think the shifting is the uh, biggest problem this thing has. It's very clunky. very surprised this is the bike I wanted to hate you know like when you hit know about a brand and the owners are such douches like BMW you really just want to hate them you want to hate these guys but Harley is the same thing for me I want to hate the bike but it, it's actually a brilliant bike I think they uh, hit a solid home run with this thing sport mode brakes are excellent and it's got link braking all right I don't know where the hell I'm going west I guess I should turn around
such a raw bike. This bike would definitely get me in trouble. Didn't I exit from here? Yeah. No, no. That was Yamaha demo day going the other way. like the power my speed triple had and the funness factor I don't even know if this has got traction control but it must have Which way are we going? I think straight. All right, I forgot that was a cop there. Oh my God, this bike has been such a surprise. But you know, the engine seems so raw and unrefined and I don't know if that's part of like the whole Harley Davidson thing. Just so uh, you have a little bit more, I'm actually going to, 2.9, fuel capacity is 5.6, running or their weight, 559 pounds, which is about the same weight the Super 10 Ray is 
and lighter. So, and it's got more powerful, it's more powerful by 30 horsepower than the Super Tenre. That's a lot, but it is hot. It's a hot, hot bike. It's an extremely hot bike. If you let it sit around a little bit, because the, the headers are right there, this thing just heats your legs up. I mean, you've got a shield for it, but that's not a good place for riding in the summer. So, I, I don't know. It's a very, the motor is very unrefined, but it's extremely powerful. This thing is a beast. And it is more powerful than the Super Tenre. At low speeds, it actually seems to be a little bit easier to handle. Is it this way? Yeah, shifting is not great. I think this thing... I think that might be the uh, big downside is the shifting and the unrefinedness of the motor. But the rawness is uh, what attracts me to the Super Tenray. But I am very... I'm gonna put it on a different mode, uh, street mode. I was not really interested in street mode. There's another Super Tenray over there. Of course, if you get a used Super Tenray, you'll spend six to $7,000. This is a $20,000 bike. Yamaha. Very well mannered. As far as handling and power, I love it. So that's it, guys. That's the Pen America review. I like this a lot. Surprisingly, I think it's one of the best Harleys I've ever ridden.